we're going into the NA Grand Finals. Let's talk about Toronto first, Johnny. The most versatile team in the region. Someone, he plays Saria, Sigma, Urisa, Doomfist, Winston, you name it. They're gonna bring it out all in this one. They're cooking to just an absurd amount, okay? I don't care if it's sushi or Korean <laughs> barbecue or pasta, what? like they can do it all. It's just whatever timeless things they're coming out at and they have a great plan, Toronto is just going to outmaneuver you with strategy. They can do whatever they want. Now it's all about executing their star stuttered incredible backline. Merit, one of the best Hiscount players in the world. Sugar free, flexibility between Tracer and Echo. It's a stacked roster, Danny. I mean, and they're going up against Timeless, Jake. Uh, why should Toronto be scared of Timeless right now? I think it's, I mean, Toronto's not going to be scared, right? Toronto has to be coming into this confident. They are the top dogs. But I think there is a part of you as Toronto Defiant, as these established, well-known players, that's watched players like Rocket and Chopper just wreak havoc on these other established players on other teams. So I think Toronto's gonna be confident. I think they have every reason to be, but I think Timeless, they're playing with the house chips at this point. Like, they're playing for fun, they're playing for the love of the game and for each other. And sometimes that's when you can really do something that you didn't think was possible before, right? There's not gonna be that tension or the fear. It's just playing with, with freedom and creativity. And sometimes that's when you pull out your best performances as individuals. So I can't wait to see especially what players like Rocket and Chopper have in store. But with Icy in the starting lineup, we could be seeing some sort of interesting new strategic take, maybe that Timeless have been holding on to. Uh, but for me, eyes on CJ. I want to see production from CJ. That Kiriko has been really impressive for me. He fought off Pelican incredibly well in the last series, made his own dives happen. So I really want to see great stuff from him. All right, well, we're going to be starting off the map with uh, Nepal. Um, no surprises? No surprises. Anything? Same Anything match good? as last time. All right, last let's jump series. right into the game, guys. Paul Hollywood, it's the same ones. All right, Jack, <laughs> Matt, take it away. Thank you very much, Danny. Johnny was like, please, let me get the point now. Please, please, help, please. Just one more point, please. I'm on the desk. <laughs> he was trying. Oh. Uh, th this should be a sick series, though, right? Yes. Uh, no, obviously... Toronto Defiant could have been, you know, cooking up some different stuff, uh, you know, in the break, you know, obviously. Uh, they, they probably had a decent idea that they were going to see Timeless again, considering uh, how close their match was, and then I uh, know how they kind of, like, swiftly dealt with M80. Uh, and it looks like for Timeless, uh, you'll have Icy here at the start, so maybe even Timeless took away some things from that series that they feel like they could do a bit different. Yeah, maybe so. I mean, Icy in means a little bit more Sigma play, maybe. We're going to Nepal. If it's yeah. Sanctum, I mean, that makes a lot of sense for Sigma, who is someone play. I mean, someone can play anything. It doesn't really matter. Johnny's nodding along. I'm right, Johnny, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I thought. Yeah, I mean, look, at the end of the day, Timers have a deep bench, and they've not been afraid to use it in the past. Uh, but Toronto Defiant, uh, they're a different, they're just a different breed of human being, I feel like, Matt. Like, they are just so good. They are reigning champions, or some of them at least, for a very, very good reason. And this roster handpicked, uh, was handpicked to be the best. You say that, what, two days ago, we just saw these two teams play in they went to five, about five, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're like, oh, they're this like unbeatable juggernaut. It's like we literally just saw this series decided by like a single team fight, pretty much. Uh, most people in the chat obviously going to go uh, side with Toronto Defiant, uh, but I believe that's even a little bit closer than we had the other day. I think it was like over in the 80s the other day. So uh, some people jumping off the, the Toronto bandwagon, uh, <laughs> liking what they see with Timeless. Well, the Toronto fans coming out, man. Let's get it, let's get it. I mean, I, you'd be a fool, I think, to count Timeless out. Like you said, it was an extremely close match the other day, going all the way to five and it being a couple of fights in it. All right, Toronto Timeless, what do you have for us? I wouldn't be too surprised to see Toronto stick out on this, put Sugar Free on the Tracer, and we are going to Sanctum too, which is which is great, honestly. I want to see what Icy brings to the table up against, and I will use your word, Matt, the Juggernaut, because he is a Juggernaut, somewhat on the Sigma. <laughs> Yeah, is, uh, they all end up playing the Ramatra. So uh, we've seen this a few times now uh, from Timeless. So typically when they have Icy in, it's, you know, Ramatra, you know, Sigma. Uh, you know, some Arisa, you know, Riker really playing the dive tanks with Arisa as uh, the Ramatra can push into the Sigma. You know, uh, one, of, one of the tanks you can kind of like, you know, stand toe to toe with Sigma is uh, nobody making their way towards the point just yet. Uh, just playing the poke game. Waiting for the Sojourns to find a shot. A way for someone maybe to kind of walk up and then Icy can take advantage of that using Nemesis 4. Very, very slow start. Not even uh, the Trace is finding much entrance here into these Are we fights. on Coliseo? It does feel that way. All good though. Timeless, don't worry about that capping. They do be capping. 
while Rocket was for a brief moment. Took a bit of fire and uh, ended up ducking back in. <laughs> okay, <laughs> someone's going to cap any day now. Yep, time was a bit closer. As uh, Yeah, that'll be Rocket who gets in the point. <laughs> That was absurd. I think that's the longest Sanctum opening I think I've ever seen. No kills either way. Don't jinx me, Rocket. Come on now. All good. We're chilling. Well, I mean, both tanks, like, don't really want to, like, push up and engage on that high ground. And now someone will drop down to the point. I mean, this, uh, it, it's actually kind of huge that Timeless does get uh, the point first. Probably forces Toronto to feel like they have to do something, and Icy gets caught in a bad spot. Yeah, real bad spot. That rush is just so deadly. Especially having a little flank, too. It can be really hard. Icy, you've only really got that one cooldown, right? You have got the Nemesis for... Oh, oh, this trick in the book, Merit. Lucio baiting you out of there. A little boop, <laughs> and off the map. I think Obrer is going to get away as well. He so did. He got away. He's out here, of there. You know, with a, with a, <laughs> yeah, with a, a, a bit of a you know, opening and make a play. As he's got the beat here. Oh, no need kill. to use it. Yeah, I mean, that's huge. The, the, the boob then getting away. Uh, that, uh, you know, gives them a player advantage. They get back and they just win that next fight. So uh, even with, you know, Icy maybe, you know, getting... I, I don't think he really, like, overextended. I think what happened was, is, like, they just kind of, like, roped around with a speed boost and caught him off guard in the previous fight. Uh, it's only going to result in 20% here for the Defiant. Yeah, wow, that late kill really did mean a whole bunch. Oh, overclock start here for Merit, who wants to test him on the point. Well, Rocket does. Oh, stick Suzu instantly, though, there at Merit's side. Open it with that sound barrier to try and contend with that overclock. Either finding much. Here's the flux. Where'd it go? It missed completely. Everybody dodged out of the way just in time. And now we're on with Sugar Free. As he's taking the fight to Opener in that small room as they try and find the flip. Uh, but both teams trade Lucio's and RuPaul's so weak, it's going to be very difficult for them to move out as someone uh, yeah. ends up off the side. So yeah. uh, that is, uh, it looked like actually it was Icy using uh, the, the Annihilation, the Ramatra ultimate, but then someone just kind of falling off. But they couldn't actually push out on the point Toronto because RuPaul was so weak and they had no other healer left. Could have been a boop as well. You can sphere on the wall of Sigma and it won't count, it won't count as an enemy kill. Worth keeping in mind, because it does give you a little bit of a movement. Sound barrier counteracting at Chopper's railgun. He's still carrying for cover here. As you can see, Merit on the other side of the map. But Merit paying a lot of respect to Chopper, not insta-peeking him. Sugar Free starts to fight off with a kill. Open it down with the Lucio dead. Icy's in a little bit of trouble, although I say that. Opa. Uh, death won't go in vain and Sugar Free also ends up falling. Good double punch from someone who's come back on the Doomfist to try and get the extra little touch here, but he is so low. Chopper chases him down and Rocket is soon there to clean up with him. 99% for Timeless as they find the flip. Toronto to find have Sugar Free up alive and well, but are they going to be able to get back? I don't think so. And there we go. Round one over to Timeless. Yeah, that is uh, obviously a rough start for the Defiant, just losing that first point. Uh, but in that previous fight, you know, Rocket just ran around and killed three players. Uh, we saw him do that pretty much unchecked through a lot of the last series between these two teams, uh, where if they're going to let him just kind of like run around and do his thing on the Tracer, uh, th this is going to be another long series, uh, I feel like, between these two teams. This Toronto looks like to potentially be hovering that Doomfist again here to kind of uh, counter potentially that Sigma, uh, no, the uh, Ramatra that's going to be in play. Yeah, expect a lot of swaps coming out from both teams, especially in the tank role. Is someone happy to run out with a Doomfist? A bit different, uh, especially on this map. The Doom can definitely work, Matt, but actually getting on the point and holding it with the Doom comp is going to be rather tough. There's not a lot of great avenues for the Doom to play on this point, right? Uh, typically, it's why you see, uh, I know as uh, Merit just takes out Cho uh, Chopper, takes out Merit off the start. Uh, typically, why you see you know teams play a little bit more stationary comps on the point. So, man, I mean, Chopper... Uh, picking out where he left off in the last series. I mean, two quick kills right off the rip. Jesus. All right. Quick and clean cap there for Timeless. Yeah, I'm curious if someone actually ends up uh, getting back and swapping. Maybe he feels like he's in a little bit too deep at this point with the Doomfist. Well, quite literally, I suppose, is he in the point or uh, on top of it, at the very least. 
They're so split though. You see like some, right. you know, it's two players trying to come up top right high ground and like a few players down here on the low side where it seems like they have a great read like these two players oh. are trying to come out of the top. Good pick. Toronto find that flip too as Rocket ends up going down to a kunai. It's worth thinking about as well. The last time these two teams met that map five series, it was Toronto to find taking the ball 2-0 and oh to start it off. So looking at the complete opposite right now for Timeless. I told you about, a, I spoke about sticking power on the point, man. This is what I mean, like, who touches here for Toronto to find? Someone is always so low before he can actually make a move and get on there. Yeah, the Ramantra is going to be really difficult to dislodge, right? Even if the Doom dives in, uh, you can kind of kind of keep him there with, like, the vortex of the, the Ramantra. And I mean, look at that, someone there, yeah, there's nobody shooting him, right? Just, just kind of let him stand there. Just chills. No power block. Uh, you know, we're going to be looking at what double support all for both sides here. They're going to drop down, try and rush. That rush. Where did that punch go? Maybe it hit this, uh, the Soge map, but like, because you haven't got power up punch, it's not doing a whole bunch. You can still get kills with it, but it's uh, a little bit easier with the power up. We've seen a rush on the point, too. Oh, Chopper tries to retreat past that shield. Merit managed to uh, bend the railgun shot around the shield by the looks of it. Takes care of Chopper. And now someone's a little bit more free, especially since now he has his ult. Annihilation available and uh, pops instantly from Icy there as he runs on forward, but quickly matched with a sound barrier from the Toronto Defiance. Quick clean up, too, as Timeless end up going down. And there it is, a little 69 uh, flip there as Timeless end up losing the point. Yeah, is this is where for Timeless, I'm curious, like, do you feel you need to actually swap here, like, to counter some of the Doom stuff? Like, the Arisa is awesome against the Doom Vist, right? I uh, know that kind of would be the tank you would go towards. Uh, and then, you know, you kind of find yourself in that Arisa mirror eventually. It's kind of how we end up there. Is, uh, so we mirror with an overclock here. Oh, oh my gosh. Chopper's going to pop his. Oh, mess with the best. Die like the rest. Railgun straight through the dome. Chopper goes down. Merit. Proven once again, one of the kings when it comes to the Sojourn pick. Good spawner kills there as well. CJ trying to escape. Okay, so they're going to go queen. So uh, they're going to have the queen in the mix and here with a Cassidy. So uh, if you're timeless, you're going to play this comp. You're not really going to kind of like vie for that high ground, right? It's going to kind of play into the exact sight lines that Toronto has. Probably going to try and force this fight on the point. Yeah, the Casti is going to be a big hindrance here to do, quite literally, with the Magnate. But someone shouldn't fear too much, does have the ultimate. Wants to put out that power up punch first, maybe trying to get in Kitchen, cook up something special. Punch does end up going in, and Chopper ends up falling over. Good stick on the Queen, too. No shout, no problem for Sugar Free. They're going to clean this fight up pretty easily. And with 90% on the board and a late dive, uh, late death on the Lucio, Matt Timers are in trouble. Rocket ends up falling as well. And uh, well, who touches? Uh, nobody. Uh, that's who. I don't think get back in time. It's Toronto. They even up the score. Yeah, so it takes a little bit for Toronto to actually kind of get the points playing this Doomfist. But uh, once they do, it seems like Timeless didn't really have an answer, right? Uh, once they can't exactly just kind of sit on the point and play from that position. So... Uh, really, it's like Toronto just playing for when they get that Katsune rush and then they're able to empower that Doom. And uh, I like this decision for Timeless. I think play the Arisa comp. Like uh, they talked about in the interview, like, hey, this is what they're good at. So it got them here, like may as well stick to it. Also happens to be Arisa pretty strong against just about everybody at the moment. Yeah, oh, 100%. 100%. And with the Doomfist, I'm curious if someone's going to, they're going to kind of half get to the point, realize Arisa's on the other side and switch. We'll see what someone wants to do or if he just wants to stick on the Doomfist again. This point's a little bit easier, map for the Doom, of course. It's not as open. You can play around the giant pillar and you can kind of dance around the other small ones as well. Um, they're a bit too far deep in now, I suppose, so can't really go back to spawn right now. But there's a small window, but it doesn't look like they want to do that. No, I, I I don't think so. I think maybe if they kind of lose first fight, you see the make a change, but it's going to be on someone trying to stay alive here, right? You know, Spear can just kind of get, get pushed out of the way. Uh, great survivability. And now, well, you know, Arisa can kind of like collapse, right? Get you know, moving pretty fast right at you. Well, I just used that Spear spin to get away. This Merit's trying to line up some shots. All someone is doing right now is punching in, getting out, punching in, getting out, just try and disrupt time as much as possible. Make Chopper's life a little bit harder, getting in front of those uh, line of sights to the back line. It's actually Rocket that goes down. Okay, just a, on a sideline flank, tried to get some work done, but no, swiftly met his end. 
Charissa jumping off the map. Ooh. Maybe should have gone for the punch. Oh, nice punch on CJ. Very nice. Yeah. As, uh, they find that kill onto Rocket is uh, probably just kind of like pestering over on the side uh, there a little bit and maybe took a shot from like Merit and then uh, finished off by uh, someone. Is uh, They're going to have the Cassidy in yet again. So I think they're really trying to punish someone as he comes in. I think he's just playing really well in terms of uh, you know, not really being that aggressive, right? Uh, like just kind of like you know, waiting for the right moment as opposed to just kind of going in deep, like right there, just a punch, slam out, you know, kind of do the same song and dance over and over. He's going to make the first move though. Well, there is the... Oh, see ya. Well, nice rush, buddy. Now your team's going to have to contend with... Uh... This railgun coming from Merit. I mean, there's just no shot. Icy survives that either. Yeah, that fight's done. This fight's over. We're going again. <laughs> and he's been getting a. He is just uh, got to be one of the sickest Sojans uh, in existence. Like, he's up there with proper yeah. for sure in terms of Sojan play. One of the best to ever touch the game. Oh, without a doubt, is uh, Toronto really kind of uh, showing their dominance here these last two p points? specifically is where do they want to go timeless it looks like trying to go set up here on the high ground spear spin just to get out that's going to Shop be a shot do some ticking damage yeah up it's to the room oh opener did not see that one coming neither did rocket oh merit smells blood in the water and it's all timeless an 85 percent lead now on that point and they're trying to make this death hurt icy going super low now as toronto are playing up close and personal to their spawn yeah and this is why it also feels like you cannot just kind of move away from that sojourn as a hero right incredibly strong as it'll be icy who sticks oh. up Opener. Gets control of the point, but no, uh, no armor there. Opener doesn't get the beat off. Is man, uh, this one looking like it's going to be all oh. Toronto here for map one. Oh, they may have went down on round number one, but almost a complete repeat there of their series on the upper bracket. Toronto defiant taking that first map two and O oh on Nepal. And Matt, it's worth pointing out as well. This map set is identical to that series yeah. from the upper bracket, oh. which is kind of insane both teams pretty happy with I the maps the way, that they went two and one yeah i think the way that timeless ends up making this a game is to uh you know potentially you have like Riker in and you're either you're rotating either dive tanks or you're rotating the arisa uh, and i think you have to kind of commit to really sojourn tracer with all of those sojourn tracer swap the tank out if they play sigma we're gonna play more dive we're gonna go like a, a winston or like a diva or something along those lines uh maybe even like a maga for instance if they're going to play doom they're gonna play winston like we're either gonna play the orisa or match i think that's kind of the path that timeless has to take throughout this one i will question the doom fist will it work up against the orisa up against the ram okay someone you shut us up you shut us up and i think you shut everybody up else up as well i mean merit also just uh, just an absolute beast on the sojourn and uh, you were talking about it a little bit earlier on that when Rocket has been just sick, but and everybody's been hyping up Rocket. But Chopper has also been up there in terms of like carry potential on Sojourn. But now he really is um, up against one of the best Sojourns ever. And if there was a test, if there was one thing you got to do now is win against that, it, it's pretty tough. And maybe a little bit more of a daunting task too. And we did see Chopper jump over to the Cassidy to zero effect. Yeah, and the one thing I think for Timeless, like you can't really uh, you know, let set in is, uh, you know, sometimes you're just like, oh, hey, we're like surprised and happy. You know, we even just got top two, right? And it kind of <laughs> like takes out like sense of urgency, like in a final of like, oh, well, we've kind of already accomplished like what we wanted to. Like, well, no, you have a legitimate like yeah, this went to five the last time circuit points on the line, right? Who knows what a meta looks like? Uh, I know in the, the second stage of OWCS uh, may, may not work out as good. You need kind of that buffer going into DreamHack. Yeah, more points, the better. Stay two is important, but what's important right now is that time is locked in. Is that KDA differential there uh, by Toronto? But not too much of a surprise after you win the map. First of all, remember, if you're only just joining us here for North America, first two four very classic uh overwatch worlds and yeah going on to the next map matt uh, how are we feeling about substitutions for timeless you reckon we're seeing icy still or uh, uh, 
I think you probably will see Riker come in. Uh, that would be my guess. Uh, now they also brought in a uh, Sunjin the last time we actually right. watched this series, I believe. It was like just so we saw Chopper in map number one, and then I think uh, we saw that happen. Yeah, the rest of the series. So yeah, here, here we go. So uh, that's exactly what we're going to see happen. So Riker will come in. Uh, Sunjin will come in as well. Uh, so this is the, this is kind of starting off exactly how the last one did, right? Uh, I know map one may have been a little bit closer to the last time uh, in terms of like how the rounds went, but in terms of like what we're seeing sub wise uh, and what we'll probably see gameplay wise, I think we're going to see the same type of thing. Yeah, a little bit of a uh, little bit of hit scan, a little bit of rail. I think uh, for Sunjun is probably going to end up picking up out of the Widowmaker. It will be nice to see, but it will be the Sojourn. Hollywood just a uh, El Clasico map for that one. And um, Riker, maybe just pull out the Winston too. I mean, it seems like them and I see they're happy to also play the Orissa. I mean, Orissa, when it comes down to it, it being a, not like a new hero, but like it being reworked to a point where the play style was completely different. Every tank that's touched Overwatch 1 can play the Orissa and Overwatch 2. It's just, it's just whatever. Riker at least then gives them flexibility if they want to go more like a, a dive comp, for example. We are going to go to a quick break, though. Don't go anywhere after this. Map number two, Hollywood. Toronto currently in the lead. Welcome back. Hollywood up next. Toronto Defiant taking an early lead in this series. Very reminiscent of what happened in their upper bracket match earlier on in this uh, tournament. There we go. And uh, we had substitutions too. Uh, we had Riker in and Sunjin in for Timeless. So we'll see who starts on the attack and defense first, and then we'll load on in and uh, yeah, see what's up. Because uh, someone, <laughs> Matt, these are on Doofist again. I mean, probably not, right? But there's a real possibility you could, no. especially uh, on Hollywood. But Sigma seems like the better pick to me. But we'll have to wait and see. They're on the offense first, that being Toronto Define. <laughs> Yeah, no shot. I think they run uh, Doom <laughs> yet know. again. You know. uh, <laughs> I, 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 I wouldn't even say like Doom is a hero that I would say like, you know, someone I feel like is way better at other tanks outside of Doom. Like not saying his Doom is bad, but I feel like it's a, uh, you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't say it's like, you know, is a rank one like go to uh, yeah. type of tank. As timeless on defense will play a, a D.Va here. Um, the Diva's probably expecting like a Winston on the other side. Uh, that would kind of be my uh, kind of breed on this here. But Toronto looks like they, yeah, so it'll be someone playing the Zarya. So they've kind of like, it really terms in, in terms of tanks, like we're counter picking like crazy. Let's go for a quick Toronto we're listening, see what they're saying with this uh, upcoming attack. Yeah. Red, red. Oh, I have a I'm ready to walk. I'm ready to walk point. Ready? Yeah, Diva, Diva. Okay, okay. Yeah, ready, ready. Okay, ready. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Diva, Diva, Diva. Try me, try me. Roll our man, roll our man. Kill up, kill up, man. Diva, do she? Diva, she? Diva, she? I'm walking up again. I'll shoot Diva. Try, 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 try,
Yeah, bubble. Yeah, bubble. Three, two, one bubble. Don't load, don't load, man. Don't load, man. They can touch, they can touch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put on, put on, put on. Put on, put on, top mine, put on, put on. Shoot him, bro. Look, put on, put on, put on, I'm on it, right? I'm on it, right? Put on, put on, put on. Put on, put on, Around, around. You go. Look, they, they game plan that perfectly, knowing potentially like a diva on the other side, right? You run the Zarya, like we've seen Luminosity run the Zarya, you know, not to the same, you know, uh, success all the time. We've seen them run it, uh, you know, have some success, uh, you know, at moments, but that time I really like the way that they pushed in, took control of that top cafe right away and put so much pressure on Timeless. Oh, someone taking a lot of damage there. It's go time for Sanjit. Oh, someone's out. They're all pretty low though. High noon for Merits. Where's he at? Just making sure no one pushes around that corner. Oh, he's wearing the classic Mayhem skin too. The, uh, <laughs> gotta love that skin. You look a, a little- McDonald's one. Yeah, you look a little uh, garish, but I think that's all, all the more funny. The Magnate also working out super well for them on their offense there, Matt, as well. They managed to take out Rocket after he got hindered by that nade. Rush on the high ground as Rocket and Co are pushing on a forward. Hello, not getting too much of a distance here, but Toronto are happy with that trade. They just back off for uh, no deaths and CJ using his rush. Yeah, and uh, no, Toronto will come back with like rush beat of their own. I wonder how long they stick on the Cassidy or how long they want to play the Cassidy for. It was some really good sight lines for the Sojourn up on that high ground. Suzu used here to just kind of keep someone up as uh, maybe you're trying to force sound barrier around here. It could be huge, but you lose sugar free yet again. So yeah. it's the power of the Sojourn. Lenny down, Sunjun with a swift rail gun. Someone also 1 HP, does manage to get away. Yeah, it's real rough. Not much you can do about that against a uh, cracked Sojin, so all good. Reset, go again. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, uh, look, you, you can, this is a pretty difficult point to take, right? Uh, you know, how many times are you gonna know, reset go again before you may want to swap as oh. uh, Merit's nice shots there. Almost actually takes off a Sojin oh, at range. He doesn't miss. Oh, Bro does not miss with the, with the cast, with the Soge, with uh, whatever he chooses to pick up. Yeah. Sound barrier for opener, Matt. Like and they were disengaged already. Yeah. They got no beat, bro. It, well, it's, it's the Kitsune rush that comes through here uh, from RuPaul, but it's also just the damage that Merit puts down before then. That kind of like has Timeless you know, maybe panic a Ooh. little bit. Dead Eye here on the high ground. Oh, almost not open her into it, but it's going to be someone finishing it off. Yeah. Didn't have to get the full skull there. Just had to wait around and uh, wait for someone to finish that kill. Oh, Riker doesn't even get to the mega health pack. I mean, this is Toronto to find on a new level currently. Sonjun's going to have to go nuclear right now. Pulse on the floor. Should have enough damage, but Sonjun takes two clean out with him. Merit's in trouble as well. A little 180. Almost a 360. Almost gets the kill, but Rock is there to save the day. Sonjun and Rocket holding the fort. I mean, they, they are fortunate uh, those players pick up those kills because that is looking like potentially Toronto taking that second checkpoint as uh, Timeless. They'll have Riker go over to D.Va here. So D.Va actually, uh, no, not exactly a Winston counter, so to speak, right? But uh, D.Va, you know, duels pretty well with Winston, right? Can blow up the bubble pretty fast, you know, do a decent amount of damage and then also chase. And he's going to have Merit here go over to the Soldier. And this is a good move here. Here it goes. One of them's got the rush, and that'd be CJ. It's gonna be pretty easy to lay it down on this uh, payload, but the problem is Toronto Defiant not playing anywhere near it. Happy to just kind of take high ground, maybe try and flip the map. Vega falls. Rocket's gonna fall after him, so it's a one for one trade. Now the Sojourn's in trouble. Gotta help Merit right now. Everything invested from RuPaul there to keep the Sojourn alive. Merit is still alive and kicking and gets the D-Meg. No baby diva kill, not today. Mary is pretty low and still somehow surviving in this small corridor. Dude's 30 HP, Matt, and he's still up, but he's still killing. Like, how is this even possible? Toronto to fight yeah. and still head and shoulders above Timus right now in terms of the man advantage, but Timus have the spawns, and with a minute to go, Timus aren't out of this just yet. No, and they'll have a self-destruct to kind of like keep this one going for a while. And then they'll also have a beat. Is Rocket with a false bomb needs to come through with a big one. That's going to be a Suzu. I know. 
Pulse bomb, gone, wide, all good though, because Rocket's already down. There's the self-destruct, Vega on the point, dodges out of the way. Sonjun, you got a railgun to contend with now, and he slides straight back to the spawn as Merit once again comes alive with that overclock. Two minutes on the clock as Toronto Defiant unlock the point, and it's time for them to push to third. And it's not a great sound barrier there from opener. It doesn't really connect with uh, you know, anybody of impact. Is you had already lost Rocket Riker using the self destruct ends up getting taken out before you can remax. So uh, that beat kind of goes for nothing there. Opener, surely he doesn't. Uh, opener oh. gets quite low. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna die. So that's a pretty bad start here now for Timeless. Always oh, Lenny time off on the high ground. Any kills here is just a bonus. Sunjin dead. I mean, you're getting past the main gates here, Matt, which is where a lot of teams have been held today and uh, previously in the tournament. So you're feeling pretty good about yourselves near in this final, final box of victory. Someone goes into the back line. I mean, they, they're going to be able to live so long Good in play. the timeless back line. You think, oh, that's a, a huge kill. Uh, sound barrier doesn't connect with Oh, they don't with touch, though. They, oh, just don't they, touch don't, though. They, don't they just don't touch. They just don't touch, though, so oh. they don't touch. Any touches? No touches, though. That's, uh, wow, that is rough. I mean, to be fair to Toronto there, someone was using Primal Rage in the door, but Riker was trying to get onto the back line and kind of deal with that, right? But, yeah, that's, uh, that's just rough from yeah, time. I mean, someone... Someone is trying to like pummel players away, right? With primal, they have beat, so it looks like they kind of like scatter timeless. And maybe Riker, I mean, you no, know, obviously not in their comps, but like maybe the the calls for Riker touch and like thinks he can back up a little bit, maybe towards it. Somebody got booped or displaced. Um, quite unfortunate there because timeless actually gets that first pick. You know, Rocket. Uh, I'm in a little bit of a rough one here. You know, it seems like they're you know, focusing him pretty hard and uh, they're able to pick up some kills on him, but he gets Merit at the start. Uh, yeah, right. And just not able to capitalize. That kill on Merit was really clean too. Managed to whip around the corner. Fill him full of lead. Toronto finished with time. Not over a minute though, so, you know, all good for Timeless in that respect. 54 seconds in the time bank, but this defense is something to behold with the Winston too. It's, um, I'm surprised we're not seeing a little bit of someone Sigma, but the, the pace that they're playing at, it, it feels a little bit too quick for Timeless at times. It's up to Timeless, you know, Rocket or Sunjun especially um, on that second point to come up clutch with a with a railgun on just the overclock. And so Toronto, I feel like they're in seventh gear. Toronto are currently in sixth. Need to kind of catch up to the pacing Toronto are setting right now. Let's go for a Timeless quick listening to see how their attack ends up going. I can have speed for Riker a little bit. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna go. No, main. I can't have you. Okay. Okay. Ready? Go main, go main. Speed, 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 speed. Yeah, MP, MP, MP. I'm on Jordan, bottom main. Jordan half, Jordan one. Yes. Thanks for the bottom main. I can go through. Yeah, I'm with you, I'm with you. Get jump. Get me. One. Uh, one, 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 Sinking onto Vega there as they try and push the advantage. Vega a little bit too behind the rest of his team trying to get out someone who was kind of tussling in the front line. One tick for Timeless now. Toronto are going to be able to make a re-engagement. Vega coming back in just a moment. In fact, there he is. Full five for Toronto. They push onto the point. Primal Rage nearing for someone as well as Cafe Control is the imperative. Someone super low. Railgun shot onto Sunjun, who slides away, away from Merit now. As the fight begins to slow down just a little bit, but uh, Rocket actually just goes down to a disruptor shot. High ground control, very much in favor of Toronto to find right now. Riker takes RuPaul with him, but the Katsune rush, a parting gift from RuPaul, it helps them win the fight. Yeah, as uh, I, I think you can see how Toronto, like with obviously their pace of play, but I, I think they just have like you know a, a lot of experience on this roster of like these types of situations. Like, oh, we're down a player. Like, you know, we don't have to really kind of like panic engage. We can kind of play around someone. And this Winston is it's going to be the Kitsune rush, but primal inside of it. It's not looking good right now for Timeless. It's not a good primal rage there though from Riker. Survives that pulse bomb, refreshes that health bar. But here comes the sound barrier from Toronto Defiant. Sugarfree was so low too. Desperately needed healing. 
And he got over shields and uh, over health, sorry, and all the more for it. Manages to stay alive. Someone comes back and Toronto to fight, holding firm. I mean, uh, look, for a lot of people who didn't, you know, tune in maybe last year, right? You know, Merit, someone in RuPaul, like a crazy combination for the Florida Mayhem, right? Yeah, pretty, like, cra pretty winning, crazy. Winning won, the entire, won the whole thing. <laughs> won the entire thing, right? So you're playing against a team that has, you know, with just those three players. I mean, this is just silly. Uh, there was so much, like, synergy playing with each other for so long. Uh, it, it, that now, I mean, look, you throw the Sugar Free in the mix and then Vega, oh. right? Uh, it, it, very difficult to deal with. Rocket actually gets one here. Uh, maybe you can make something out of this pulse bomb. And it doesn't connect. And it, it just feels like the pace is like a little bit frantic, right? Like it yes. just feels like a little bit all over the place at the moment, which uh, I think, look, if you're going to play like at this hyper fast speed, you're going to take the players who have done it with each other for a very long time. Oh, someone tries to get out of there and get out of there. He does. Sunjit trying to land a, a railgun shot. There's a couple into someone, but there was no like immediate kill. Now Sunjin's in onto the high ground, receives a sound barrier and tries to square up against RuPaul. TP's through the wall to help someone, but Rocket's already claimed two of the Toronto Defiants. And there we go. Timeless. Managed to stamp their way to victory. They've got the payload, but how far can they get it? Two minutes and 50 seconds to go. Every scrappy uh, first uh, first point there, Matt. Sage 2 opens. They're going to need a really fast push through the second phase of the say, map, right? I was going to say, especially with Toronto dying Tor so uh, like in sync with each other, they're going to be able to get high ground. Yeah, I mean, Toronto, right? Uh, if you're in their comms or like if you're thinking, you know, from their point of view, right? Uh, you know, you win two team fights here with the amount of time on the clock. You're looking at a hold here or you're looking at like basically having a better, you know, everything goes horrible after two fights. Uh, you're still going to have a better time uh, in terms of time bank. So really own in focus on these next two fights. Someone dives in. Oh, my God. CJ did not see that one coming. Merit just sometimes it appears out of nowhere. Nice dodge of the pulse bomb too. Oh, Rocket goes down to his own pulse, adding insult to injury. We'll call that a fast reset because you knew you were going to lose the fight, Rocket. No worries, pal. All right, Toronto now. It's a problem dealing with Merit because someone also is able to just engage with this bubble. Every time Riker steps up, Matt, he gets uh, someone shooting at him. Sugar Free Merit, everybody's shooting at him, right? And then he has to use this bubble, not on like an engagement, but just for uh, defense. Sound barrier, continue rush. Okay, maybe over eager there for Toronto to find, but sending a message is sometimes uh, more important. I mean, every fight is kicked off, it feels like, on the Toronto Defiance terms uh, at this moment, where Sugar Free oh, deep Unlucky. in the back line. Uh, yeah, not going to be able to get out from there. I mean, uh, Rocket over chase him down as someone goes in yet again. See what I mean? The pacing. The pacing yeah. from the Toronto Defiant is well, just outmatching Timeless right now. And you also notice that, like, someone will drop his bubble and Merritt is able to just, like, slide on into it and just play safely, like, basically in the mix. As a sound barrier, Merritt's waiting for them to come to him so he can just exchange places. Got his Mad Hatter on. As Merritt is getting booped around by the Winston, eventually taken down, but not after a sound barrier and a Kitsune Rush used. However, time is still three ults in the bank, and with a late kill onto Vega, they're in good stead to push this payload to the second point. Yeah, and I think this is kind of like Toronto, right? You just force some of these ultimates out of Timeless, and then you really just have this one last fight. Uh, you, you, you win this, obviously you take map number two, you lose, you're still going to be in a spot where you have a better time bank. It is go time for Sunjun now. He's trying to match Merit. It's Riker that steals that kill away, but you'll take that any day of the week. Getting Merit out of the equation is good for Timeless' success percentage. It's going up. Rocket down though, not the best. Timeless still have this primal rage. If primal. they need to use it, he's 66 HP. He's gonna have to pop it soon. As Toronto Defiance are pushing them to the very brink. Overtime is in session now. As Toronto have control of the point. No more C9s for Timeless, please. But with CJ going down, it's gonna be hard to stick to the point where it's out receiving an infinite amount of damage. Riker retreats to the high ground there as someone chases him up and Sugar Free 2 was lying in wait. Toronto Defiance halts the payload just before that second point and shut out Timeless. A 2-0 lead now for Toronto.
Yeah, as uh, Riker actually in Primal had uh, you know, the, the opposing Lucio uh, Vega really low, but yeah, I couldn't chase because uh, you know they needed somebody to actually end up kind of contest there in OT. So uh, Vega makes it out with his life, comes back around the corner, you know, a little amp healed, then has a beat, drops at the end, but it's uh, really not even necessary as uh, Toronto pretty much cruised through Hollywood. Look, Toronto cap two with time, so maybe it would have uh, been a different story if they didn't, you know, Maybe they stayed on the payload for a little bit, but timeless are down here, but they're not out just yet. Of course, it was quite a backwards and forwards series when they first met each other up in the uh, upper yeah. bracket, but we're going into the third map, Matt. Match point almost there for Toronto Defiant, but they're just playing at a different level right now. They, they very much, I don't want to say like warmed up throughout the bracket. I guess that's kind of a thing, but it just feels like they've no. unlocked a new level of play right now. I mean, having world champions also kind of helps. Let's listening though to the winning comms of that final round there from Toronto. We have spot advantage. Okay, we okay, 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 just another game in the books for Toronto Defiant. They're looking clean, Matt. Like, uh, nothing's going to shake them at this point, I feel. I mean, it, yeah, it would be, uh, you know, with the way they've been playing, you know, for them to kind of get, uh, you know, razzled and, you know, just a little bit stunned, it feels like uh, it'd be very difficult to do. I think it really kind of starts with someone being able to play all these tanks at a high level like it feels like they never can get counterpicked in terms of like the tank right uh and then if they're willing to you know mirror like winston or you know play something like that it, it feels like that is like you know a spot where toronto is totally fine ending up in yeah and having someone so versatile on your team like you mentioned means you don't have to uh, sub them out time in time again right i mean timers have been using their subs to very great effect but if you could just got an all-rounder like someone you don't really need to worry about kind of splitting time between scrims and like different maps and whatnot so yeah i mean it it was going to be a tough match for sure time has put up a, a ridiculous fight very much the underdogs coming into this match but it was a lot closer than i think a lot of people had on paper well, apparently not the chat was a uh, love in toronto to find in uh, in the preds at the very least <laughs> Yeah, and I think if you're timeless, I think there's probably like a discussion of like, okay, what do we want to do the rest of the series? Like, are we looking at kind of playing this same exact play style to be Chopper coming in here uh, for Sunjun? Uh, no change in terms of tank, but uh, do you want to keep trying to go with like Orisa Winston kind of base stuff? It feels like that's like one bucket you kind of fall into right. or, you know, the other options, right? You know, you're trying to play uh, no, it's Sigma, you're trying to play Ramatra. They'll keep uh, Riker in here. I uh, know potentially to play some more of the dive with Arisa in the mix. Yeah, Esperanza. The last time they did face, it was a Toronto Defiant win on uh, Esperanza. And then New Junk City went the way of Timeless after that. So we'll see how they fare on both these maps. Yeah, about a new Queen stream. Uh, for, for Timeless as uh, Toronto go into this one. Uh, choose this one, sorry. Esperanza. I, I really like Esperanza, and I think the, one of the big reasons why it's one of the better push maps is because the variety of comps that you can play. Um, you, you can play the Malga, play the Ram, you, you know, Ryan, if you really want, if you want to be crazy about it, but you can play the Doomfist, which we've seen actually a lot of uh, coming from teams like Toronto Defiant, who've played the Doomfist here before. So maybe that's what they're going to end up rolling out with here. And if you're Timeless, knowing that you've played against them on this map. I mean, having the same map set definitely helps in terms of like scouting, right? Uh, maybe yeah. you come out with the Orisa straight out the gate to try and shut someone down. Yeah, I think that's probably the answer here, right? Play the Orisa base composition, see if Toronto goes into the mirror and take your chances with it, right? I think that's probably Timeless's like best path to get back into the series uh, and really, you know, even from their own words, like kind of like got one of them Know, back on track throughout this event right i think if you're going to try and uh, you know mirror or match or try and you know counter uh you know what toronto is going to do i feel like toronto is going to be always at the you know the the forefront of what's going to happen there 
Yeah, I mean, he's hovering the doom. I think it's going to be it. TP out, quick swap from Sugar Free over to the Tracer. And it'll be all said and done. But yeah, Timeless running the cast, very much predicting that uh, someone's going to be on the Doom Fist. But we've seen how the cast rolls out before. I mean, Chopper is a ridiculous Sojourn, but the Cassidy, very susceptible to these dives, regardless of that Magnate. It, it's still kind of weak when you have every single member of Toronto diving in on you. Yeah, I, I've liked when they've had the Sojourn in the mix. Like, uh, obviously, you know, a little bit harder to keep alive than the Cassidy uh, at times, but uh, I just think both, uh, you know, Chopper and Sojourn have been so good on the hero. Like, uh, even kind of at times going toe to toe with Merritt, who uh, we all love. Uh, so I, I think uh, obviously Cassidy has uh, knows some spots and some moments, but. Uh, I, I still favor the Sojourn, I think, most of the time. Yeah, I feel definitely feel the same way. Feels like they're just trying to counter comp right now. Just counter someone to the highest degree. Well, Sh Sugar Free's had a really good Ooh. series, right? Uh, I know okay. in, in, in uh, right there, as Sugar Free goes to the back line, picks up the kill on Rocket. Like, maybe it's kind of more to have to try and, you know, keep this Tracer in check a little bit. Yeah, a lot of that, whew, a lot of that was a disruptor shot as well from Merritt. He just put it down and Rocket was like kind of walking through it like, oh, please save me, please heal me. And then uh, guess who's in your back line? Well, it's Sugar Free. Here's the push bot. It's going to take that small little lead there. And now they can just hold high ground, just wait for times to roll out the spawn. They're going to play Zarya. So this is like the composition we saw Luminosity play, right? Uh, where they played like, uh, you know, Dante uh, on the Zarya. Uh, I believe it was Vision on the Cassidy. So like, uh, this is a, a different look from Timeless. Uh, definitely one where you're going to have a, a little bit more protection for that Cassidy with a bubble. Also allows Rocket to stay in the back line a little bit longer. Yeah, just uh, saving Private Chopper. I think that's going to be the name here. Just uh, as soon as he gets descended upon, quick bubble. And then hopefully he can click a couple of heads or even throw out that Magnate. Pretty frustrating to deal with. But, well, Mary's got a railgun, Matt. And they have Rush too. That is a very quick fight. That Rush just... It's just too much, man. There's just no way. They kill Vega, but whatever. This is Lucio. He'll get back in time. Yeah, they get just backed into a corner, right? And uh, you get back to that really uh, short corner up there on the high ground. Kitsune Rush, Doomfist flying in. Uh, I know Tracer from one side, Sojourn, Disruptor Shot, and all the damage from the other. I mean, no way you're living through that. It's, uh, Marital Charger Rail Shot back up here to the high ground. Oh, there's the checkpoint as well. All right, they're going to have a, a decent angle here, and they're going to have a decent line of uh, line of sight onto the bot. Although Toronto Define is just backing up at this point. They don't really need to press the issue, although Mary definitely wants to. They're just looking at the Zarya. Oh, no bubbles, no problem. Or oh, Mary gives a little 360 there, making sure he doesn't get picked out of the sky by the uh, Cassidy Ultimate. Uh-oh, Chopper it is in a little bit of trouble. Yep. Like Milk and a Butter Churn, he is done, so bro. Just turned into a different substance, substance entirely. Timeless, they lose this checkpoint, Matt, and Toronto Defiant is just running away with this game. Yeah, I saw this one, you know, kind of going like a lot of the rest of the series there is that you, you get that mag grenade onto the Doom and it doesn't matter, right? You just power blocks, just, you know, it turns into a, you know, a new punch and just it keeps on moving as uh, Timeless, the benefit for them will be double support ult here. You're probably trying to build this up for, uh, you know, RuPaul here. Coming up as, uh, you, yeah, you don't have to play down here if you're in Toronto, right? You can kind of play up on this high ground and you know, let them try and come into you, you with this uh, Zarya. Yeah, rotations, rotations, rotations. Oh, you go high ground to force us off. Oh, we'll take the low and take the bot. How about them apples? Oh, well, there's the this rush. This RuPaul to build up a rush. Oh, Sugar Free's down. Sound Barrier comes out a little bit too late there from Vega to save Sugar Free, but they can still uh, attempt to fight this. As, yeah, RuPaul does have that rush. It's whether they actually want to or not. They end up backing off, and Timers are going to be able to pinch them if they choose to go through that Mega Health Pack room, but it doesn't look like it. It looks like they're going to go all the long way around and maybe retake control of their own high ground, and yeah, that's exactly what they've done. Yeah, no need to play a little bit risky here if you're the Defiant, right? I know, oh, take good the safe grab. route, rotating away. Very good grab. Just catching someone on the rotate there. Rupal did have Suzu, but, oh, you Rupal. know, Suzu to grab. He's, and he uses, he uses Rush, too. 
He was like, I got uh, this. Why do, why do you <laughs> stuck in the grab? Ends up using his rush. So uh, pretty pretty fortunate there for Timeless is someone now will go over to Winston here. So uh, doesn't want to kind of continue to play that Doomfist into this uh, Cassidy uh, plus Zarya setup. Just, uh, you know, really difficult to just kind of like you know, mow through both those characters where the, the Winston offers a little bit more flexibility. He's just vibing on the high ground right now. He's got to find a way to deal with a Riker though. Riker's pretty low and actually it's opener using the sound barrier to try and keep Riker up. Riker was pretty high energy as well, to be fair, as someone retreats back to the rest of his team to get topped off as well. But now they don't really need to worry about it and Merrick can just get a free overclock here potentially. This ends now. Oh, speaking of which, <laughs> speaking of, is, okay, is Sugar Reed just going to run away with these kills? Maybe, maybe not. Rocket gets a <laughs> pulse bomb onto Vega. Mary's trying to find a head to click on, but time is just way too scared of it, and rightfully so. Here comes the rush from CJ, trying to find a split up at this point as they were trying to go very deep and get Merit some damage and get some kills in. So maybe they're going to have to escort Merit out. He's on the high ground and Timeless closing in on that checkpoint, map. Yeah, I think Toronto though just wants to deny checkpoint. I think that's what they're focused on in the moment. And uh, yeah, he jumped in that small room, disruptor shots and Winston cleave damage on everybody. Now we get the bot going the opposite way. So even with Timeless winning like, you know, two fights in a row there, uh, not able to result in a take of the checkpoint. And uh, now you're in a scary situation because uh, I mean, look at this. Timeless will come back in with a dead eye here. Uh, but the support ultimates is so heavily in favor of the Toronto Defiant. Uh, you, you can use both of these and maybe even get to like 100 meters or so, get close to a completion. Don't worry though, we got Dead Eye. Worst ult in the game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. Well, there's the rush. Chopper's in trouble and he's in desperate need of some help. Unfortunately, he does end up going down, but not after throwing a magnet out and killing someone. But, I mean, Merit. I mean, try and come at the king. Luckily, though, actually, Rocket's there to dethrone him for at least for a brief moment in time. Time is just kind of ripping and roaring in that small corridor. That was a lucky kill. Well, maybe lucky. Uh, kill with a the, with the magnate onto someone. If someone doesn't go down there, Matt, that is a very different fight. Yeah, with without a doubt, right? Uh, no, if you don't lose that uh, tank, you're in a great position. Is this will be the checkpoint here for timeless? Is uh, they are definitely not out of this, uh, Jack, uh, just right, yet. As not. what they're down about twenty something meters, right? Uh, they're gonna have basically all five ultimates to work with. Uh, so if there is ever a time for timeless to come online, right? Uh, I mean, you find yourself down 0-2. The clutch up here. Five ultimates in times is bank right now, pretty much. Let's go for a listening real quick. I'm right there, I'm right there. This is. Shoot, 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 Okay, 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 let's come back soon. Make your make your own, make your own, make your own. Chase, 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 Five ultimates invested into that fight, but they've gained the lead. Timeless are not out of this just yet. Toronto Defiant. You have to be wary though. Casting in the back lines with the Lucio or the Magnate. Oh, it found its way to the monkey. Don't worry. Auto aiming. All good. Someone still gets out, but the Hinder not lasting all too yeah, long. Yeah, they have the Suzu. He has the Suzu bubble and jump though, right? So uh, they kind of have to like back up just a second. A few huge, uh, you know, key abilities used there by the Defiant. She's open as a death, which sometimes with these wall rides does end up going down to a headshot of Vega. But Merrick getting a little bit too ambitious with his push. That pulse bomb from Rocket too. Another star player for Timeless, really coming up with the with the kills and just uh, the whole package really in terms of DPS, uh, Chopper and Rocket doing a lot in that fight. Being able to force all those cooldowns, yeah, with just that one mag name, Matt, really helped them uh, stay in that fight for at least a little bit longer. They've gained the lead, uh 79 meters to 92 now with 40 seconds to go. 
Yeah, it's massive, right? Gaining the lead is, uh, no, the other day we saw Luminosity run this comp with that Zarya. It was, uh, it, it, they, they were not able to really make it work, like, consistently. There were moments that where you're like, okay, this is, this is pretty nice. And now, see Timeless running it and, uh, you know, really showing why even Luminosity probably went towards that, as it can be pretty strong in certain situations. It's, Everybody is so you low. Get low. That's gonna be Suzu oh, and Rush. The Suzu didn't hit Riker. That's bad. That's real bad. Sugar Free, a force of recall though. <laughs> Goes through the rush of time. It's a pretty risky maneuver, but he makes it work. 4v5 now, high noon on the high ground. So Disrupt early, the though. shot and he's stuck. Gets taken out of it. Overtime is here. Toronto to find, trying to find tri uh, pickoffs. If they manage to get any late staggers, it's going to be disaster for time as the lead isn't that much. Yeah, Timeless takes the fight so early, though, that it gives them an opportunity here towards the end. But look at how aggressive Toronto's going. They don't want to give them another opportunity. Nice little hinder nade there onto Merit, but is it going to hinder this damage? Primal Rage takes care of Riker. There's the stick. Oh, it did a little bit of team damage there, but it does not matter. The veteran presence from Toronto to find wins it out. Map point now for Toronto. A 3-0 lead in the series. Looking like a timeless game at the very end there. Able to get the checkpoint, got the lead, and in the end of it all, Toronto defiant. Just the grit coming through, and they end up taking it, and 3-0. We're looking at maybe a 4-0 here, Matt. A lot, uh, a lot more one side than the EU was. Yeah, that, that's a brutal one to lose as well. Uh, it, it's almost easier being really far off uh and kind of bouncing back and being like hey we weren't in that one like they battled back into that map so so hard and then to kind of just lose it all at the end uh that's really difficult especially now being down 0-3 uh you know you win that map hey like we're right back in it right new drunk city coming up like you know we we, we know we can play pretty well there uh you know vibes are starting to be a little bit better but to lose that map in the fashion they did uh yeah. that's a really tough loss there for timeless it's a really tough loss on the on the mental for sure a three and oh lead for toronto defiant right now determined to not lose a single map after they lost two times previously i mean right now uh, and you're expecting this team to do extremely well you're expecting this team to be the top of north america just on name value alone It'd be crazy to think that they, you know, they go through the upper bracket, Matt, they're losing maps, and then they come to the finals and they lose zero. Like, <laughs> it's like they were just holding out on us. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, I also think that now there's been a little bit more time for, uh, you know, this meta, not really to get kind of figured out, but like for teams to have a great understanding of like, okay, if they do this, this is what we're going to go for. And this is what we're going to try and do. Uh, where Toronto have all the pieces in place to, you know, just come up with some tremendous plays. So uh, stats after that map, you know, look, uh, you, you lose maps in Overwatch, your stats are always going to look pretty poor. So uh, nothing to That's really nice. gleam too much uh, from this. Uh, you know, uh, pr pretty big, you know, damage disparity there, right? 6K, yeah, uh, you no know, sure. in favor of uh, the Defiant, but you no know, Timeless on the other side, right? 3K in healing. So you know, everything kind of just gets evened out eventually. Uh, it's really just, uh, man, the way Timeless, you know, you fight back and then you lose in the end. That is uh, you know, differ difficult to get the mental back on track. Yeah, I mean, Toronto, they do seem cool, calm and collected every time you jump to a listening. Let's have a little listening to the final few moments of that last map there. Oh, no, turn, turn, push, 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 turn, 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 Nice. New Junk City, the map <laughs> up next. Same map set as before, and here we go. This is time, this is chance, man. They gotta come back here. It's possible. But right now, Toronto, I mean, this game is all Toronto, really. Small roster update, though, from Timeless. Still willing to sub people in and out. I see back in Riker to the bench. Yeah, it, it feels like if you were gonna start mounting the comeback, it would have, you know, hey, 
clutch up there on Esperanza, right? Everybody starts feeling a little bit better. You come in here to Flashpoint, boom, we have a tie game, right? Uh, that kind of feels like where it would have turned, right? Uh, now I think it's going to be really difficult for Timeless to battle all the way back. It's going to be tough. I mean, the, the, the veteran mindset too, and, and being at the top of the game in the Overwatch League for so long, like, that's really what does separate a lot of these teams. And eventually that will kind of come to pass and like everybody's going to kind of be there. But coming off of a winning year from uh, three players on Toronto Defiant squad, you're feeling you're feeling like you're on top of the world and you're unstoppable. You were almost stopped, to be fair, in the upper bracket. But uh, right here, right now, and like you mentioned, Matt, the, the meta and everything over the last few days, it's solidified a little bit more. And with this series, it's kind of proven that Veteran Presence does end up winning out sometimes. New Junk City with Icy in. What do you expect from that? I mean, I think you're just kind of looking for answers at this point, right? Um, you know, they try Azaria there. It doesn't exactly work. Uh, maybe this is to kind of go back to like Ramatra type of play. Uh, I know okay. potentially you can play the Ramatra here. So uh, that that's a possibility. Uh, it just feels like whatever they kind of throw at the Defiant though, right? The Defiant, uh, no, obviously don't have to change their roster and just kind of come out uh, and make the swaps. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see. We load in in just a moment. This could be the final map here for North America, this main event, stage number one. New Junk City picked by Timeless 2, so you're expecting them to come in with a with a game plan kind of formulated as we rock up. Dorado would be kind of a fun one to go to. I feel like we haven't seen Dorado in forever. My God, when was the last time we saw Dorado? My word. Yeah, it fe feels like it's uh, Eternity. been a bit. Yeah. Uh, but you know, you kind of like look through. I, I think even if Timeless loses here, right? Like zero four after how close they kept that series the last time. Obviously, uh, you know, not ideal, but. Uh, no, still, you know, battle through some, you know, M80, Luminosity, like some really tremendous teams in, you know, NA uh, to be able to get here for this moment. So I see at least at the start, looks like to be hovering over the Orisa pick. Uh, probably won't see the Brig because you need Lucio on Flashpoint. Um, or else you just get less fights, right? Like mathematically, you just kind of need the Lucio uh, in the mix. Um, Toronto looks to be uh hovering a ramatra based comp so uh someone uh, it's curious what they think that is timeless is going to come out with but maybe they think that it's going to be arisa and they kind of win this being a little bit more aggressive on the ramp now we see how they want to take these fights too of course the ram as soon as they've used nemesis form they're a little bit more vulnerable to kind of people pushing into them uh-oh. Well, <laughs> Matt, I, I will tell you one thing, sir. That is not a good start. And neither is that. Uh, no, I mean, you, you, you kind of keep Merit with the, the rest of the gang, run him around as uh, he, he makes the railgun shots. <laughs> like, you know, look look like connecting them so easy is uh, you know, break all uh, break all the rails, doesn't want to have, you know, one of those uh, railings interrupted. Oh, his flow is he's dominating. Yeah, I would say he's dominating. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's putting it lightly, I think. I like how far uh, you can play up on this map, too. If you really want to make it hurt, you can really just play in this small corridor. But playing against the Arisa, it's a little bit more difficult. So it will be Toronto to find just hanging back near the point. Just looking for this rotation. Wow, Icy has used every cooldown. Yeah, and someone knows it, too. The Arisa are extremely vulnerable. Spear spin, no fortify. Even the backline taking shots right now. I mean... With this railgun primed and the punches just flung through the whole of Timeless, it's so rough. Merit taking yet another two kills. And this is a this is a point this is a point winner right here. Oh, goes down to Chopper. All right, sugar free. <laughs> Waving goodbye to his teammate. Yeah, it, it it feels like shooting at someone is just like a big bait, right? I uh, you know uh, earlier with the MEA, right? I uh, you know KSA was talking about it, where. Like, yeah, he just power blocks and just, you know, let Quartz and Yubi just kill everybody, right? Like, where uh, it kind of gets scary when the Ramatra so close, he's, like, you know, nearing your back line, like, you know, maybe start putting down some damage, but really, he's just kind of taking up that space. 
All right, Kitsune Rush trying to shift the point and Toronto to find more than happy with that. Hey, use your rush. We got uh, five ults pretty much ready to ro ready for rock and roll. There's the rush from RuPaul. I mean, Rocket trying to get in, but what can he really do? I mean, Merit's going to charge this rail gun up at lightning speed. It is Rocket to touch, but Merit's just going to chase him. Almost hits him with it. That was a cheeky pulse bomb there from Rocket, but it didn't matter in the end. Just turning tail and running. Everybody looking at Merit, and you should do, but you still got to be scared of Sugar Free on the Tracer. First point for Toronto Defiant. Yeah, it's uh, Sugar Free. We talk a lot about Merit, but Sugar Free's actually had a really good game, right? Considering how good Rocket's been on the Tracer. Uh, I know Sugar Free, we obviously been waiting for, you know, his presence before, you know, the last you know, few years in the pro scene for a very long time. And then when he uh, comes in, just plays lights out and bringing that over to the Defiant as someone will actually play the Sigma here. So changing from the, the first point, uh, it was playing the Ram. Uh, now looks like a little bit more of a defensive setup, right? You can play a little bit more at range poke here, uh, forcing Timeless to be the aggressor. Just break it down. Rocket didn't receive that sound barrier, sadly. Sugar Free did, luckily. Merit in the front line still got that slide. <laughs> slides away. Plus one for style points there as he snipes Chopper on the exit. Matt, mate, this is a, a blowout right now. Yeah, I mean, this is just a Toronto Defiant masterclass. Like, uh, it feels like someone uh, just can, hey, I'm going to go back to the spawn and just play a different tank, right? Just yeah, kind of right. constantly just juggling through the roster of tanks is uh, Icy will play the Ram. Uh, so they, they play Sigma. Don't want to get a, I you know you can kind of like do a little bit of long range damage as a Ramatra and then, you know, uh, be a little bit more effective in the close range as a Ramatra than Sigma. Uh, so that's kind of the answer there. But look, someone, if he falls, right, you're just going to see them go back to the spawn and just counterpick it. Funny we see the counterpick of tanks uh, and all the other players stay exactly the same. Ooh. No need to change anything else to make these comps work. My God, Sugar Free start rocket there. Luckily, CJ was quick to throw down a Suzu. Just a cleansing milk. Oh, nice E as well by uh, someone. You step up, you get a pulse in and then you die. You get shot, you die. Timeless, end up capping the points, but at what cost? Toronto Defiant can still fight this, especially now Chopper's dead. I mean, you just gotta clear I mean, off alive, Icy. Right? Yeah, as, soon, as long as Merit's alive, you can do anything. And that's a promise. Rail got available to him as well. Uh, what are you trying to do, Icy? You trying to get close to Merit? I mean, he's got a, a million and one people to kind of back him up. Nice little angle too. Hits Icy in the head, which is the single rail gun. Here's the sound barrier. Backs off to the rest of his team. And a rail gun for a sound barrier. Not too bad of a trade for timers, but they still lose rockets. It's like a headshot on a tracer there. I mean, it's so difficult. Uh, at that angle and he's able to pick up the kill onto rocket is uh no it, it's uh if i showed you this match right now and then told you the other day that they played a series it went all you know went to five you, you'd be hard pressed to oh. believe me i mean with the way it's looked jesus jesus just leave him be man leave him be chopper gets chased all the way back and uh, that's a recall and a death for both eps the timeless oh. It is funny watching the Lucio ragdoll at high speed, I will say. One of my favorite things in Overwatch. Looks really funny. 30 seconds now into the next so point. So now locks. Toronto, I mean, They're on that point, one point, point away. And they win. GG. Yeah. yeah I mean, uh, they're, they're going to have the double support ult with the Gravitic Flux in the mix. Uh, no way on the side of Timeless to, like, interrupt that, right? Also, Timeless, no sound barrier to kind of live through that. So this, uh, this Sigma ult could be huge. get their first touch as well, Matt. So as Tar Timeless once again, like attacking into them. And attacking into the Sigma, especially with Flux, is pretty damn hard. Oh, and Chopper's already dead. Like I said, Matt, a different pace than uh, Toronto Defy are playing on right now. Annihilation's decent, though. That sound barrier's gonna match Spicy, overstaying his welcome to the nth degree there. Timeless just wiped off the face of the map as Toronto are gonna cap. Yes, uh, you know, sometimes, uh, yeah, you know, you look at like that series the other day, uh, you know, and how close it was. Uh, you, you, sometimes it's better, like, if the Defiant don't really know who they're going up against, right? Like, they knew that now that, hey, Timeless is a serious team. Like, we need to ramp it up to 11. 
which they have today is uh looks like timeless gonna go back to the arisa here to try and go against this comp it's uh someone still with this flux still no sound barrier for timeless as well still waiting for that flux to come out oh that's a good pulse and there's no suzu there to back it up but someone still manages to stay alive finally merit is down but not before he can take rocket with him it's like it's like rocket has a magnet on his head and Merit is a perma, just making sure he pays. Nice little uh, attack there from Chopper, but I think this might just be it, Matt. 80% and a stomp. Timeless are getting pushed back. It's 90% and counting now. Who touches? Who touches? I mean, it's got to be opener, I mean, but he's not even going to make it. He's down, it. Matt. He is down. I mean, Toronto Defiant in an absolute shutout. Some kings were born to rule. Toronto Defiant are going to be able to take this series at a 4-0. Timeless crumble before them. And what an absolute blowout. Toronto from level to level. They just keep on getting better. Man, uh, oh, what a dominant performance there for the Defiant. I think uh, they were also sending a little bit of a mes message, right? I know how good they played against M80 the other day. Uh, wanted to get revenge here against Timeless, where Timeless was probably like thinking like, hey, we can play with these guys. Toronto just swats them out. Like, uh, no, you got a lot of work, a lot more work to do to play with us. As, uh, that is about as clean of a 4-0 as you're going to see. Yeah, very quick too. Actually, it would be funny to see the timing on that I mean, versus yeah. the timing of their previous series, because that was definitely quicker in four maps. And like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Insane speed run there from Toronto to find I mean, they will be crowned your NA champions for the time being here in stage one of the main event. Uh, Danny, Jake, Johnny? Yes. How'd that go? For you? How'd that go? <laughs> that was yes. that was brutal. I mean, <laughs> that was brutal. I mean, I don't, yeah. they're on a different level. I, I feel they're, like they were on a different touched level. touched by God, I believe. Now, <laughs> now you see. Now you see. You understand. <laughs> Tony he, a, he walks no. among us. Every, every time Mary gets a kill in, in the green room, Jake's like, Father has returned. <laughs> I mean, he's too oh. good. And it's, it's not just him. That's yeah. what makes it so yeah. scary. I mean, sugar free, someone, just I don't, the back line as The well, back line, just, no mistakes, right? From RuPaul yeah. and Vega, the beats, the Kitsune Rush is always on point, always kiting out when they need to. So many times, Merit's caught by a pulse bomb, but no, RuPaul's right there. I, He's right behind him. He's I, ready. I don't think we're being disrespectful towards Timeless. No. no. Huge second place for those guys. Yeah. That's yes. a big, great, big achievement. Great match, but Toronto Defiant. Ew! Like that was disgusting. disgusting. Right, that how, was many, this, how many? How many of these highlights are Merit just Ugh. snapping his <laughs> fingers? Look at these Merit frags. Like, oh, this is. Yeah, what guys, do you do? Yeah, like, guys, walk just... us through the match because I mean, when we first started the game, you know, uh, Timeless did look pretty good. Oh, I mean, first round all right, there were some moments, right? Like we started that first round, you know, we did a little warm up round. Look at the, and oh. the Ajax. Oh. Ajax. Oh. 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 What's happening? Oh God! He's in. <laughs> He's in. Someone's oh. on me. I, they they just outpaced them, and yeah. you know that that's really like when you're able to play Overwatch at like a perfect level at such a rapid pace. It just looks ridiculous because the enemy team just can't keep up with you. Dude, this like, one I was losing. You're always it. <laughs> like one step behind, it's and just, it just with this this is the end result of it. Yeah, I, I think that when the Winston mirror came out, we really felt a gap here. Someone is just. He's just an insanely flexible player, and that's what we always talk about. But his Winston, I feel like, is the hero where we yeah. really see him hit the peak of his potential, where his individual skill is really showcased. You know, shout out to Rocket, I think, was going toe-to-toe -to -toe this series, but I talked about it before, like, the last series, it was mostly Merit, Tracer, Sugar Free, Echo, which they're very, very good players on, but there's no doubt that this is an even stronger look. Sugar Free, oh, yeah. Monster Tracer, and yeah. Merit on the core hit scan. That's when I think we really get to see what that guy is made of. And uh, man, it is it is sharpened steel, apparently, because this guy doesn't miss. Like, Rocket was putting up big frags, and then Merit just oh. deletes him oh. over like, and over and over again. How do you so consistently shoot a Tracer in the head? Like, the Tracer's hitbox is so small, I, I d d just don't understand. His, and of course, player of the so match, good. guys. Yeah, I mean, come, oh, come and, on now. Yeah, no, is no questions asked. This is Merit, disgusting. 106 elimination. 106 and 18. Oh, I mean, I haven't seen a finals. This one, was he? Oh, oh, oh my oh. god. Wait, wait, one more. Oh! <laughs> 
Jesus Christ. <laughs> just enjoy it. Just like, stop. There's no analysis here. Just <laughs> watch him play. Ah! Just watch him. Just, oh, watch him I play. Think, I think this highlight of uh, Merit is literally the, it summarizes the whole match. This is yeah. such a good one. Like, you know the other team is like, kill Zorge. Like, he's coming. <laughs> he's here. <laughs> oh. Oh. We're just, just like, unbelievable just watching, plays from Merit. And and at the this is all we need. I mean, come yeah. on. This, it's such, this is like, I mean, what he did to M80, it looked like this too. But here we just got four straight maps of it instead of three. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I will say as a fan of NA Overwatch, I'm kind of excited for some international lands. Oh, yeah. I want to see what these guys can put together. There was, I mean, yes, they had some earlier in the tournament. There was some, there was some shakiness, right? Like teams brought them close, including Timeless. And yet here, when all the chips are down, you give them a little bit of time to workshop the meta and find their groove. And there's just no contest for them in North this America. This result right here, that performance, that is why they put this roster together. Yeah. That is yeah. why they went out of their way in the offseason to yeah. put this roster together because performances like that, that was True. disgusting. Yeah, I mean, Merit was great, but his uh, partner in crime, Sugar Free, was amazing as well. And that is who we're going to be talking to for the post-match interview. Sugar Free, big congratulations. You guys are the champions for Stage 1 NA side. How are you feeling right now? Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good, you know. I mean, it wasn't too hard, so... Yo, I'm not that happy easy win? It, you know what I'm saying? It was, was it pretty fuck. It, I mean, it was easy. So. It was easy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, we didn't hear anything. It was an easy win, yeah. We're listening to the comms all week. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah we've been listening yeah. to the comms. You can't hide. <laughs> My bad. My All bad. right, so Sugar Free, what I just want to ask you is, I feel like by map four, you were really turning it up on them on the Tracer. How were you guys feeling like as that series came to a close? I mean, you looked like incredible confidence. What, what was it? What are the vibes like from the team now and, and, and as you guys were closing the series out there? Oh, we were just having fun, bro. Uh, someone was like calling really well, all of our dives and stuff, so I was like really comfortable. I didn't even have to say a thing. He was just like, can you go? I can go, and that was it. We killed everyone. So like, what, what would you describe was the difference in play versus Timeless in the upper bracket when you went five maps, you know, you play some different compositions then, but like just individually in this series, you guys just played out of your minds. Like what was the vibes going into the series? Why was it so different this time? Merit was on Sojourn and then <laughs> I was on Tracer, that's it. That was, that's really it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I mean, yeah. I, I mean, even with you guys, arguably on like a weaker role setup with the Tracer and the Echo, you still win the match. And then here, I think, which is, this does look like your guys' best look. I mean, it was not close. Like there's, yeah. I feel like, I guess I the, the question now is like, is there any group of players, whether rosters be reassembled, like, is there anyone who can challenge you guys in NA? I mean, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like I already know what the answer is, but I'm curious if you think, is, there, is there anyone left in NA? Maybe when M80 gets off ping, maybe, but that's a, still a big maybe, because, yeah. uh, Hydron, you know, never mind. Oh! oh, oh, okay. oh all right. Oh. All right. Little so, spice, little spice. All right. Uh, g going back to talking about Toronto Defiant, though, you know, you joined this team and you get to play with uh, Rapal, someone, Merit, the world champions from Overwatch League last year. You coming into this roster on Toronto Defiant, what's it like playing with world champions like those guys? Uh, I mean, it's really fun. I learned a lot from someone. Um, he's just in insane. Merit as well. He's the best hits can, like, for sure, without a doubt. RuPaul, RuPaul's, you know, he's he's there. Oh, so. okay. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Damn, bro. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You're about to not get Susan <laughs> yeah. for a couple post spots, bro. No, he's no, gonna, right, oh, right, sorry, my right, Susan's right. on cooldown, bro. My bad. My. All right, Sugar Free, before no, we let you go, um, do you have anything you want to say to your fans and uh, for those uh, fans that are watching uh, the show? Uh, yeah, just thanks for supporting us, keep supporting us, and I uh, hope we win it all for you guys. How, how are you celebrating? What's next? What are you guys doing today? What are you guys doing tonight? <laughs> I'm not sure if we're doing anything because uh, Vega and RuPaul get here tomorrow. So I think we're going to celebrate tomorrow instead of today. All right. But All we're right. going gonna to go out to eat. All right, man. Sugar free, dude. Again, big congratulations on getting the win. And uh, yeah, see you soon, man. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Yo, this is throwing some shades I mean, <laughs> to the enemies and to the teammates. It's fair. It's fair. I mean, they're on top of the world right now. Yeah. They're the kings of NA. And Honestly, Rightfully so. Yeah. I mean, this is absurd, right? Compared to any region of, of anywhere in the world in Overwatch, no team is dominating their, their regional competition yeah. like Toronto Defiant just did in that last series. I don't know if there is going to be a real competition for this team until they go to an international land. Yeah, I mean, this is a team that is like, they're like bulletproof as well. Where it's like sometimes we'll have teams that like look really dominant or like hit a certain stride in a meta. 
like with someone at the at the helm playing that tank Any as metal. well, and like you have sugar free, it's like so flexible. The merit, like Jake said, it's not only Sojourn. Like Jake thinks his his better hits can heroes are like not Sojourn. So like yeah, yeah. this team, they're just bulletproof, and you can see how the vibes. They're just so confident in their abilities. Like th this team is just they're yeah. they're like a like a like a well oiled machine. They are. It's like it's... metal changes. Okay, we change. It's fine. <laughs> I mean to slide <laughs> in like Merit did on Soldier in those fights when he just slides into the the, the Winston bubbles like. Uh, that confidence is just unreal. You can tell, like, once they, they got an inch into the series, right? Like, once they take a few fights, you know, the first map goes their way, the aggression just keeps getting more and more intense. The pace gets faster and faster, and they're almost daring Timeless. Like, can you keep up? Can you handle this? And as Timeless crumbles, I think under that pressure, understandably, like, there's not many teams in the world that can take that kind of a pace. The, the limit for trying to find, it feels like they could go more, right? It feels like, like, what would happen if this we played a few more maps? I mean, it, they're, they're pushing it further, and further as the series goes on from a start that is already incredibly impressive. Yeah, they're they're too good. They're I think I would say they're truly an amazing team. Talking about uh, an amazing team, let's look at some uh, an a, an amazing plays that we saw <laughs> oh, uh, from oh, today. Danny. Hey, I thought that was I thought that was pretty good. No, <laughs> <laughs> I tried. And uh, of course, I would watch of this course, one all day. do it. Play it Show all, yeah, play all, it all night, baby. Yeah, <laughs> just cue it up. Like if <laughs> you loop, if you're rocking an opener here, like. You didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> you can't change anything. You just got Die? licked on. Like you peeked for your, you didn't even peek. You thought you were safe. He came into your house. I'm gonna be honest, yeah. some, some of the shots when I see it, when it, it's just, I have, I didn't even see what he was shooting at and he just got a kill. And I'm like, what, what do you shoot? How do you get the kill? Sometimes it's when I'm coaching players, I'll say like, oh, you know, you don't have to play around that. Like if they're gonna hit some crazy shot on you, you don't have to play around that. He, you know, he can't hit that every time. But like against Merit, he can hit that every time, maybe. Yeah. And he again, just did. again, I just want to reiterate, like we're not being disrespectful towards Timeless here. Yes. Yeah. Again, like Timeless, great. But, like that, they were just not in the, on the same like level. Yeah. It was just. Ooh. I mean, and I mean, impressive but, for those guys to make right. it here this yeah. far. Second to, place. Like, so many upsets into the right. tournament to have pushed Toronto the map five earlier. But I mean, I think even those guys have to agree, right? They felt the limit today against Toronto yeah. Defiant. That, that was, those were teams of a different caliber, of a different tier. You have Toronto Defiant be, stands you alone. You have to be satisfied with second place here, yeah. and you have to go look forward. You have to look There's forward. There's stage like, two. Okay, There's we, stage got, two. we got four rolled by Toronto Defiant. We got second place. That's huge for our circuit points, mm -hmm. which you know increase our odds to qualify for Dallas, and that's what Chopper said in the interview, right? right. You see the circuit points right, right here. here. Toronto first, of course, winning with 250 points and Timeless 200, going into the stage two. Now, the points are gonna double in stage two, right. but already getting a massive amount of points that's going to help you because you don't know what the meta is going to be. You don't know what the circumstances will be. So securing points early, really good for you and gives you a chance here in the second qualifier yep. coming up. Everyone, so sign up for stage two. I think it's going to be It'll an be really exciting fun. You stage. can play against oh, yeah. Samara. You're going to have a great time. <laughs> It's like, gonna be stage. super fun. You get to play them yourself. You get to no. That's it's an honor. You get to experience. You get to the, be aim training. The, the, yeah, there you go. Yeah. You get to be the, the standing boss. Well. I'm, I'm trying to help you too. But I don't think I don't think we're making this work. But anyways, guys, those are the matches. We had some great matches. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Before we say goodbye, any any last words from you guys? This has been so fun. It has been. I, really it's fun. been so great being back in the studio. True. With you seriously, guys. seriously. It's it's such a pleasure to be here to be with all of you, the fans. I think this has been such an amazing first main event for the OWCS. I am so excited for next month for, for the main event number two. With all the crazy meta shakeups shake we've gotten, the game's in a very interesting place. Tons of different heroes are being played. So I think maybe if you're Toronto Defiant, you're confident, but almost everybody else, they're gonna have to go back to the drawing board and stay grinding because- But you never know, you never know what happens, right? You know, exactly, there could meta, be a new right? team. There yeah. could be uh, teams who come that we haven't even seen yet or reformations of new players that, that maybe could compete with this top squad. Yeah. We'll just have to wait and see, because uh, because stage two uh, will be coming up very soon. But for now, we're gonna say our goodbyes. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you guys all enjoyed. But don't go anywhere. After the broadcast, we're gonna be raiding Avril. Raiding Avril. We're gonna raid Avril. Uh, Get so be ready tub. for his uh, big Get in the hot tub. big brain uh, takes and everything. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. See you soon. Bye. See you next time, everyone.